can you actually imagine that Jane Lynn is on a frigging book tour, isn't she? Like, ugh, guys, Jamie Lynn Spears, younger sister of Britney, so-called victim, so-called victim of the system, is now on a book tour. And I'm like, like, she is literally like, do you know what, guys? <laughs> I'm talking about this really because I know there are people who in their life they have people in their life who manipulate them or take advantage of them or use them or lie about them you know stuff like that that actually happens to people and it's always hard to point these people out because it's always one person's word against another right and so it's important for me to point out that this is actually a negative thing you know this isn't me trying to just bash Jamie Lynn for no good reason genuinely it's important to point this negative thing out because people need to know what is isn't is an acceptable behavior you know and so with Jamie Lynn like the way that she's going on about like talking about her sister apparently she's been calling her crazy which when I heard that she was calling her sister crazy like in this world where people have real life mental health issues and people are like struggling to find themselves in the world you know like and all these things is it really helpful to be actually just calling somebody crazy especially somebody like your sister who has just been in a 13 year conservatorship like how little must you care how little must you actually care about this individual and I'm like you I'm now understand why I now believe Britney the more I hear about all this stuff the more I believe Britney more than ever and it's sickening to see how her family behaved like and she's trying to do this whole, oh, I'm going to say my side of the story and Britney's going to say, because Britney said her side of the story, why can't you just be quiet? Because you know what's funny? And this is what I think happens a lot of the time with people in this dynamic, right? Because if you think about it, Britney Spears, she wasn't really trying to say too much about Jamie and she wasn't, she said what she said in her testimony, she included all her family, she said all my family, she didn't give names or specifics or even say the top five or A, B, C, D. She said what she said, right? Cool. The only reason Jamie Lynn is in this this position is because of Jamie Lynn, because she's the one who's been trying to, like, once again, it's almost like claw at some of Britney's attention for herself. And, you know, it's not good because obviously it's what from what Britney said. And Britney had to say her truth. That's the thing. Britney had to say her truth. And this is why I say actions actually just have consequences. Right. And Britney's truth was that she was she didn't trust her whole family. And that's why if Jamie was really like going to be do the right thing, I feel like she would just say, you know what, Brittany, you know what world or whatever. I, I, I messed up. I wasn't there for my sister. I chose the wrong thing. And I'm sorry. And what she's been through has been horrendous. Like, why isn't she? And this is what I keep thinking to myself. If she cares so much, why isn't she giving evidence? Why isn't she putting herself forward and, and, and making a big deal about like helping her sister and exposing everything her dad did? Because somebody like Jamie Lynn flipping would be very good. Because remember, she was probably a child as well when a lot of this stuff was going on. Because as she mentioned, they've got 10 year age difference. I think she said it was 10 years. And so Jamie Lynn probably knows a lot of stuff, you know. And I think people underestimate how much she knows about what's going on because she plays to the just like younger sister that's, you know, had a baby Zoe 101. But I think she's actually a lot more intelligent than we think. And that's why I think she knows so well how to play the game, because as I said in the previous video, it's kind of like on one side, she's trying to still like be happy with Team Con. And at the same time, she's trying to like look like she's supportive of her sister, which is really weird. Like, it's very, very weird. So, I mean, even her dad and other people, they would just shut up. Like so many people just shut up and I'm like, well done, well done, because you have absolutely nothing to say and you look bad right now. And we're hoping that you're going to get the justice you deserve. So for Jamie Lynn, I don't know, it's just weird for me. She's saying her sister cursed at her and shouted at her and all this stuff. And it's like, you're saying all this stuff, okay? And first of all, they're siblings. So if any of you have had siblings, talk about love-hate. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I never hate my siblings. But you know what I mean? With siblings, you go back and forth. And like, those are your siblings, you love them in the day, but you can go back and forth, right? So it's possible that these kinds of things could have happened. Like, it's not a big deal if you ask me. Um, they've probably been through a lot of stuff. Jamie Lynn's probably done the same. In fact, at Free Britney LA, actually specifically pointed out twice, I think, where Jamie Lynn had been um, aggressive towards Britney as well. And I think they were just saying that because it's at Free Britney LA on Instagram. And I think they were just saying it because they were absolutely fuming. And they even said, like, we are absolutely mad or something like that. And I was like, yeah. 
that's crazy like for Jamie Lynn to like be trying to and this is what she's doing like you see what I've noticed about people in Holly Weird guys I'll tell you what I've noticed this is what I've noticed the people who are usually the victims they do not like to talk to the press they do not like to do interviews they do not like to do none of this public stuff they don't like it it's always the people who are trying to pull the strings because they need to tell their story. This is what even Jamie Lynn is saying, how she needs to get her story. What is it she said? She needs to get her voice back. Like, girl, when did you lose your voice? Like, when did you lose your voice? Like, she never lost her voice. She wasn't in a conservatorship. She wasn't in anything. I literally heard Popcorn um, Planet say that. I was like, yeah, of course. She, she, like, she hasn't lost anything. She hasn't lost anything. She's talking about how she needs to say her truth. Do you know something that's funny about when she said that? The other day I was watching, um, the other day I was watching, um, I can't remember what I was watching, and there was a guy on there and he was saying how we need to stop calling people, saying things are our own truth, because saying it's like your own truth is like, there is just the truth, and we all need to start focusing on what the truth is, and it's so true, because people like to mask what they really feel, or what they really think, or their agenda under being their truth. Like, so it's like, well, you can't argue with my truth. It's my experience. And that's why I think he's right. Like, you can't just have my truth. There is the truth, you know. Let's make this plain and black and white, you know. I mean, Jamie Lynn has even supposedly been hanging out with Lou M. Taylor. I literally saw a picture of them together. I don't know when it was from. And they were looking so happy, like, so happy together. I was like, this is wrong. This is wrong. There is no way you, like, if you really loved your sister. Oh, my gosh, guys. Am I saying it in this video? I'm not saying it in this video, but there's something I'm going to mention in another video because I've got lots to come back, by the way, about Jamie Lynn because, like, as this is all happening, and I'm trying to wonder if she's scrambling, is she, I don't really know what's going on here, but anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up because, guys, there's so many things, so if you want to hear um, more, check out my hashtag Free Britney playlist, I've got all the videos, and if you don't know the context of all of this, you can start from the beginning, um, and you'll find the whole journey of how we got up to here, but guys, for those of you who've been following on, what do you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section down below because this is getting crazy. Like, this is getting crazy and I'm trying to wonder why. There's just so many questions. But anyway, I'm going to continue. I've got a few more videos about Jamie Lynn that I'm going to be doing as well. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you're feeling the vibe and you want to join the tribe. I would love to have you here. Um, shout out to my current subscribers. Shout out to my new subscribers. You guys always give me... A boost of fresh air and a bit of a boost in my life thing that i've got people that are like yeah we want to listen we want to subscribe love that from you guys love that so much love you all god bless you all and i'll see you in my next one